Hula hoops are one of my favorite toys, and did you know you can make your own? I'm so excited. I know, and it's really easy and it's fun, and today we're talking about shapes, and look at this gigantic circle. I see it. Okay, so what you need to get started is a piece of pipe that you can find at the hardware store. This like the is one I'm holding? PVC, mm -hmm. yep. This is three quarter inch, okay. and it's used for plumbing. Three quarter inch. Yes, and Got you it. also need a connector. Okay. Hit, again, hardware store item. Okay. And then you want some tape in wide and in skinny. All right. And I'll show you why. And then we'll have some beads and some bells that you can add inside and to make it fancy. And you need something to warm it up with, so I'm using a hair dryer. This is going to be a party. It sure is. <laughs> so when you are measuring the um, plumbing piping, okay. you want to measure between your chest and your head. All so right. this one is for my daughter. So it's a little bit shorter than it would be if it's for me, if you can believe it. It seems really big, but it's actually really easier to do the hula hooping if your hoop is larger. Okay. So you want it between, so I would cut this one longer if it were for me. And you're probably going to gonna need an adult to like help yes. cut that, right? You can do it at the hardware or you can have an adult help oh, you with that. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing you want to do is heat it up. Okay, so point your um, heating tool straight at the pipe so that it heats up inside as well. Okay. And again, calling an adult going to help you with this. Get some adult supervision. I'll help you right now though. Okay. Okay. It's good to do with a friend. Yeah. Like all crafts. So you're getting that pretty warm. Yeah. And that's what makes it kind of more soft. Yeah, it heats up the plastic so that you can put the connector inside. Makes sense. So You're going to up. blow me away. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then you can press it inside. Oh, so easy. Ooh, All right. Look at that. So before we do the other side, let's add some beads because that's going to make your hoop jingle. <gasps> so we'll put some bells inside, oh, some teeny little bells. You can add some beads. Sorry I didn't bring my funnel. It's okay. You could make one out of a paper cone if you wanted to. Okay. But since we're just adding a few, there we go. All right, so then... But could we add as many as we want? Add as many as we I want. I would probably need more. They're so <laughs> lightweight, they're not going to mess with um, any of your balancing yeah. when you're hooping, so you can add as many as you want. All right, I'm learning something. All right, something. then we're going to warm up the other side. Okay, got it. So just make sure it doesn't get too hot. Right. It's kind of yeah, unlikely. Yeah, this one is still warm. Yeah, but it makes it easier to get that connector inside. Right. Okay, so we'll see if I've got it here. I can't wait to go to the hardware store now. I know. Boy, you show up with this to a party and you're going to be the most popular. I'm saying, I'm going to let you, do you need me to hold it or you want to just do I'll your just thing? Try to do just it do here. your thing. Okay, so you press the sides together. And you want the black um, ends to touch, right? That's I right. Mean, get them pretty ideally. close. Yeah, get them pretty close. But you can see that my um, tubing isn't cut perfectly, so that's okay. I'm going to cover this up with tape anyway. Oh, good idea. All right, so I've got some wide pattern tape. And then um, you are, just want to make sure that you cover that seam. Are you using, so, this is like, a, this is pretty heavy duty tape, just duct tape, right? Yeah, I'm using duct tape and you just wrap it around. You want to use it because it's waterproof, um, it won't get torn when you're hooping, and you know, you're going to have these outside and everything, so oh, yeah. make sure that you use duct tape for that. Okay. Okay, so what I did for my pattern, now, now it's just decorative, right? So um, what I did for the pattern is I put some zebra at 12, three, six, and nine. See it. All right, and then you can wrap some stripes into each quadrant to add your color, or okay. you could use more pattern tape too. This would totally be my favorite part after the jingle bells. This I know, like, you gotta decorate it, right? Make yeah. it fancy. Because you can do like your school colors, you could do your favorite colors. Definitely. Favorite patterns. Yeah, you can cut the tape even into letters. You could spell your name, you can make shapes, you can do all kinds of fun things. Perfect. So. What I'd like to start out though with is stripes. And you wanna cut this in a diagonal with scissors, okay. lay it right against there, and that's going to start your pattern for the stripe. And then you just wind it around. And you just wrap and wrap and wrap. Just keep on wrapping. And you could do a crisscross even if you wanted to. I love it. By going back. So if you take a look at the finished one, you'll see that um, I added the different colors in each quadrant. Yes, love. And then, um, of course, you could also use pattern tape so something like this is super fun. Oh yeah, With friend. the zebra. Love it. Yeah, and add a little bit of leopard and you're ready to party. And I love it because when these things spin around, like it's going to be, look really cool with all these colors you kind of mixing together. You see the colors flashing by, yeah. yeah. Because 
I like to think that I'm pretty super fast on hula hooping. Like that thing really gets going. I'm gonna make sure I see you be doing some of that hula hooping. <laughs> you better be fast. Oh yeah. See the pattern fly. So you can also decorate it by adding a little bit of jingly jewelry to the outside. A hula hoop charm. Definitely. So you can add bells and beads. Um, I have some stretchy cord here. I like your kit you've got going on over there. Yeah, it makes it really You're ready easy. To roll. Definitely to um, choose your color palette. What kind of string are you using again? This is stretchy cord. Oh, okay. So it's a very thin thread. It's a, um, you know, half mm -hmm. a millimeter, plasticky, mm -hmm. and again, waterproof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I love so, it. so then add your beads. Um, Here, you have like what three inches there or something? Just yeah, so it goes all the way so around. Just so it goes all the way around. Okay. And then you're going to tie it in a knot. I'll fold um, it underneath the square window. knot is one cord over and through. Okay. And then pull it tight. Got it. And then the other cord, the other direction. So this one goes over the top mm -hmm. and through. That and is awesome. And then you tie it tight and you trim off your ends and you are ready to let's, hoop. Let's go try it. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs>